Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel today. And um, hope everyone doing good out there. But anyhow, the previous one that I repair, uh, talk about the thermal wax. Uh, and so I researched a little bit more, and I'm seeing online, and nobody, you know, really uh, demonstrate how the thermal wax works, right? Um, the, you know, they have good description of how uh, I pulled this one out of, from this mower. Uh, this is the Honda uh, HRR 216-8VKA. Uh, That's the model number, if you can see here. All right. So, uh, so in the previous, I said, you know, uh, when the thermal wax, this thing here, uh, is located on the machine, yeah, right, right in this hole right there. And um, the way you know it described is when the engine is heated up, uh, this pin is pushing out. In reality, what it does is, is uh, as it push out, this is the mechanism to control the, the choke. And so it push on to this plate in the back, right here, and, and it basically push, push this thing out. And then, uh, and so as the uh, the engine cool down, um, I guess it you know the same spring mechanism uh, is pushing back this this pin. All right, so so I think that's how it works. But you know nobody really actually performed the uh, the actual you know experiment. At least I you know that I have not be able to search on. So today I'm going to attempt to do that. Okay, so this is the setup I came up with. So I found two spring. Uh, I'm hoping that these spring will be have enough tension to push the pin back. And uh, I cut myself some uh, thin metal sheet here, or you know, you know, you know a little thick, but more than a metal foil. And um, so I'm gonna put it on the vise. This is the old one, um, and then. Uh, We'll put the spring on it, just like this, and I guess we'll put the foil uh, in between, so at least it has something to uh, for the pin to push against. So just like just like that. Okay, and then so so this left one. And then we'll 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 turn, you know we'll crank up the the vice a little bit to give it starting some tension. Hope you can see that. And then we'll we'll put the new one on the right and see what we can. So hopefully we can see that. Yeah. All right. So so here's the new one. It's uh the new one seemed like it's pinky. Okay, pinkish. And we'll put it right over here on this side. I'm hoping that my heat gun will be strong enough to uh, because you know this vice is really kind of thick. So hopefully we can see that um, that's the pin moving. All right, so we'll put it on there just like that. Alrighty, and then uh, I guess we'll just put a little bit of tension on. Yeah, yeah, no tension yet. So okay, yeah, I can feel tension already. So it's just a little bit more. Okay, all right, just like that. Okay, so so that's what I have, and then I have this simple a heat gun. Yep. So give me a second, and uh, we'll we'll start the uh, the heating process. Okay. All right. So I also decided to add a, a temperature probe that I had, and uh, yeah, I'm right now I'm reading 88 degree Fahrenheit, uh, which is kind of match uh, my temperature right now, 88. So I just put a probe on one side here, and uh, yeah. So at least we can monitor to see, you know, what 
what temperature we uh, we're hitting this thing at, right? So here we go. We're gonna turn it on and see what happened. I'm gonna turn my heat on max and see. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can see it, right? Yep. Uh, I'm heating up. Yep. I see the temperature going up to 97, 98. 99 okay, you can see that it's 107 right now oh, you can see okay so it push out yep it yeah so it did push out yep See guys, uh, yeah, it, it did push out, now it's pushing back in. All right, so that was, uh, it didn't take much, about 110, I believe, from what I can see on, on the meter. Say 101. So, yeah, so it, it okay, cool, yeah, so, so at least it's seen, right? Yep, so now, I guess uh, we're gonna try that on the uh, this old one too and see uh, if we can see the same thing or not. Yeah, well, actually, it's broken. Okay, so I can guess I'll move this over to this side and uh, we'll heat it up. Same thing and see what, if we can see. Uh... All right, so here we are. Let's go for it. One forty something already. Yeah. yeah, the temperature is really high. One about one forty right now. Yeah. Actually, it's pushing, but the temperature is way high. It's actually yep. You can see that it's it's yeah, it's coming out, but it's not as uh, quickly. Um, I'm cool my. All right, so yeah, so basically that's what you're seeing. But the way I see it is this thing, you know, is 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 uh, it's taking a lot more heat to push out than the new one. So I think you know, I think you know that could possibly cause the problem. Okay, um, but anyhow, that's what I want to demonstrate today. Uh, how it. You know this thing, the thermal wax actually works uh, the way it. You know, uh, and it's interesting, right? Because it basically just, you know, it's wax inside this body, and uh, so so then it, when it heat up, it just kind of push out. All right. Okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this experiment that I performed. Thank you for watching this uh, uh, segment of video, and I wish you all the best out there. Okay. Uh, stay safe. Bye-bye.